Five ways to change your money mindset. Let's talk about it. Where do you think financial success starts? It's got to start with your thoughts. Yeah. It's got to yeah. start. It's got to start. And that's with anything in life. Yeah. You have to have a positive mindset mm -hmm. with whatever you aspire for. Yeah. Because if you have negativity or if mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. lackadaisical ways, yeah. then it's not going to get accomplished. Yeah. That can yeah. go for finances. It can go for health. It can go for anything in life. Yeah. Whatever uh, you associate with your thoughts. Right. So I think this is an important topic to have because my money mindset like a lot of the conversations we have, this is something that people don't talk about. People see on Instagram and social media all the success of other people, mm -hmm. but we don't see the grind. We don't see yeah. their mind. And we, we don't see the steps that they're taking to achieve that type of success. Right. I think, like you said, oftentimes you see artists or people in general, you see like the struggle and then you just see like a lavish life. But right. the in between, the in between is very vague it, and there's no information on how they got from point A to Z. Oh. Exactly. So we want to pretty much expose that because we've been able to acquire a little bit of financial success and financial comfort in our lives. Mm -hmm. And we want to share our money mindset and the things that can help you along in this journey called financial freedom, financial success, financial yeah. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. we w we want that for you, and this yeah. is exactly why we're having this conversation. Yeah. And and it doesn't matter what your goal is when it because financial peace is relative, and it will mean something and will be different for everyone. But no matter what it is that you work hard toward, you want to be able to have peace of mind and knowing that whatever it is that you want to go out and do, you don't want to have to live paycheck to paycheck in order to get to it. You know what I mean? Right. Like your goal can be to become a millionaire or just to be a homeowner, to live off the land, whatever those goals that you have, you want to be able to have peace of mind and comfort in whatever decision you make so that you can do those things comfortably and not have to worry about anything else that may arise financially. Exactly. So let's jump right into the five things for a better money mindset. Yeah. And this is in no particular order, but the things that we came up with is thoughts, habits, attitude, consistency, and discipline. These things can change your money mindset. Mm -hmm. And we want to just slightly go over all of these things. So when we're talking about thoughts, I mean, we, we already just discussed that. Yeah, it's your it, mindset. it really just starts with mm -hmm. your thought process mm -hmm. and the, the things that you're thinking about on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And that kind of gets me to the other point of habit. Yeah. About daily basis of the thought process. It also ties in with your habits. Of course. The, the habits that you're building and the habits that you have throughout your life. Yeah. What are you doing day in and day out yeah. to ensure that you're building toward financial peace and changing your money mindset. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So habits are very important and it doesn't even have to be financial. It could just be good, healthy habits as far as your well-being, as far as your mental health. And the third thing that I said was attitude. And I think this is important and mm -hmm. it's kind of different from the thoughts and your habits because your attitude around money mm -hmm. really makes a difference. Yeah. You know, I, I know for us growing up, we came from humble beginnings. So like the attitude around money, neither one of our families really had money. And when it came to speaking about money or like having conversations about money or talking about growth financially, sometimes people look at it in a negative way. Like just Ooh, instilling like, financial literacy, providing financial literacy and education so that you are set up for success and it not be um, a negative attitude or connotation toward wanting to learn and just dis and discuss money exactly money exactly yeah. no that's perfect yeah. that's perfect yeah so and so then oh sorry, oh, sorry. go ahead oh. go, go ahead <laughs> see we're, we're both eager we're both eager just to talk get about in there. this we want to get in there <laughs> and, and let, get this information out to you right. so the next point is uh discipline what would you say about that so those were the two areas for me personally that took a lot of growth mm. you know and it, it happens for a lot of people and the reason being is that you can change your, your mindset, you can change your attitude, and you can change your habits 
But what can happen is if you aren't disciplined, if you fall into the trap of, okay, you know you have to save a certain amount each week or monthly, but your friends keep calling you to go out to eat. Are you going to say yes every time or are you going to be disciplined and say, well, I can't do that right now. I got to hunker down for six months to a year because I set a goal. I want to strive for financial peace. I want to change my habits. I want to change the trajectory of my life. So I can't do it. But a lot of times, you know, and it happens, but we're not disciplined. And then finally, consistency. You changed your habits. You changed your attitude. You've changed uh, being disciplined, but how long are you going to do it for? How long are you willing to do it for? So making sure that you are consistent day in and day out so that you can reach your goal and have financial peace. Amen to that. And that is that wraps it all up. The consistency really wraps everything up. Mm -hmm. So even though there's no particular order, the consistency is that last piece that really needs to be there, because if you don't have consistency, then everything will fall apart eventually. Yeah, you might be good Mm -hmm. for a month, maybe six months, maybe Mm -hmm. even a year. Mm -hmm. But in the long haul of your life, is that really long enough for you to reach the financial success and the financial freedom that you want? No, it takes year after year, Mm -hmm. decade after decade. And that consistency, as long as it's there, tied in with the habits, tied in with the attitude, with Mm -hmm. the thoughts. And discipline. And the Mm -hmm. discipline. Mm -hmm. I almost almost missed the the fourth point there. Um, (laughs) But when you tie all of those things together, that's when your mindset changes. And once you have it down pat, then it's second nature. And mm-hmm. that's, wh- that's where you want to get to. Yep. See, we, we, we kind of want to tell a little bit of a backstory for us. So we kind of had to get this financial education on our own. And I took the, the route of when I was a teenager, seeing the financial struggles of my aunt and my family to say, okay, I don't want to live like this no more. Like, I, I, or I don't want to live like this when I grow up. I don't want to be in financial hardships. And I know there's a lot of people out there in financial hardships right now, but it's about changing that mindset. And I'm telling you, if you change the mindset, you change your circumstances. Mm-hmm. And I really want you to understand that point. Change your mind, change your circumstances. And that's exactly what I did at a young age. Now, you might be 20 years old. You might be 25. You might be 45. But when you make that transition with your mind to say, okay, this is how I'm going to do it and this is how I'm approach it, along with setting up goals and things yeah. like that, that's when you really make that transition to say, all right, I, I can do this. And just tell yourself and know that it's never too late. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to um, change your habits and to change your circumstance. It may feel like it at times or society may tell you that it's too late, but if you tell yourself you can do it and you put in the work, you're consistent and you, you change your habits and your mindset, like you said, the sky's the limit. You just got to start and believe in yourself that you can do it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So to wrap it all up, you see, like we said, you see the success of people once they have it. Or yeah. you see the struggle. Yeah. But we're giving you the in-between. And we're yeah. having this conversation because it's yeah. very important. And that's what we're here for as well because we want to drop some knowledge and just share some wisdom and encourage for you guys. Right. And please believe we are going to be a resource through this YouTube channel mm-hmm. and a website that is to come. It's not out yet, but it's going to come. Mm, yep. And we're going to provide resources for financial health and relationship health. And that's what we want to aspire for on this channel. So we're going to sign off for today unless yep. you have anything else. Nope. I think so. I think we're good. <laughs> I, think, I think we gave you guys a nice little gold nugget today. <laughs> so my name is Shane. I'm Jen. Bye, guys.